Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to share 14 amazing Google Chrome extensions that every student or really anyone working on their laptop should know, including my famous screensaver that you guys ask me about all the time. Especially if you're a Mac user, you'll have to download the Chrome browser first and you can even make it your standard browser in the settings just in case you didn't know. To add new extensions, simply go to the Chrome web store and search for the ones you want, then click add. Your extensions will show up in the bar at the top and by clicking on that little puzzle icon, you can pin your favorites or delete the ones that you never use. So let's get started. We'll just go from left to right. The first one is Zotero and it is actually a full-blown software you can download for free on your Mac or Windows laptop that will manage your literature for you. With the Chrome extension, you can add online articles, PDFs, websites, etc. to your library with just one click. Zotero is just one of the many referencing softwares out there and I've been using it for two years and really love it because it can be connected to Microsoft Word and thus really streamlines my writing process. It also comes with a whole lot of different citation styles. Another referencing extension that I haven't tried myself but have heard lots of good things about is MyBib, so you might want to check out that as well. Visor turns all of the screen except for a narrow stripe to a neutral color that you can customize. That way your eyes and brain need to only focus on the text within the stripe. I honestly haven't used this one too much lately but it's definitely a great option. Alpha Text lets you adjust the font and text size of almost any website, hide any distracting media and ads, as well as turn the background black and the text white or gray for easier reading. This is especially useful for long texts in a font without serifs, as studies have shown that serif fonts are much easier on the eyes. Very similar to this one is Dark Reader, which also inverts any website background to black and the text to white. It also allows you to play around with sepia and grayscale, as well as to adjust font and thickness. You can even add a list of websites for which these settings should work, or you can turn the extension on manually. Next up is Speechify, which you might know already because because many creators have been advertising it. Basically, it lets you read any text from any website or PDF to you in a pretty natural sounding AI powered voice. You can select from different voice styles and languages and adjust the speed. However, being a visual and not an auditory learner, this doesn't boost my productivity as much, but it's still a fantastic concept that you should try out. Weaver is probably my favorite extension of all and one of the reasons I switched to Chrome from Safari. The free version allows you to highlight text on websites in five different colors and add notes to the highlighted parts. And whenever you open that website again, the highlighting will reappear. For me as a visual learner and someone obsessed with highlighting, this is the perfect tool because I can do it right then and there. Then there is Picture in Picture, which lets you play any video from YouTube or embedded on a website play Picture in Picture. This is super helpful if you need to watch a video for class and take notes, or if you're watching YouTube while planning, etc. Now let's move on to some extensions that are just fun to have. First up is days until, which counts down to a certain date, so you can see your progress towards this certain event. I've set it to the last day of classes. Next up is Forest, which is one of my favorite iPhone apps, and they also have a Chrome extension that works the same way. The cool thing is you can add websites to a block list, so when block list mode is turned on, you cannot access them or else your virtual tree will die. This is great for all those of us who think they will just watch one YouTube video while studying and then end up spending hours there. Relaxing sounds, Gio of Soft, is an extension for calming white noise sounds. I personally cannot listen to any music while studying, not even lo-fi, because it distracts me. But sometimes I like to listen to white noise like birds, a bonfire, rain, or ocean waves. You can even combine several different sounds. Number 11 is one we all probably need. Posture Reminder sets an alert every X minutes to remind you to sit straight. Same with number 12, Water Reminder, where you can also set a time interval to be reminded to stay hydrated. Finally, number 13 and 14 just make your life in front of the screen a little more aesthetic. Embark and Momentum Dash show a beautiful picture as soon as you open Chrome. Momentum also allows you to see time and weather conditions and greets you with a cool mantra every day. You can add your daily focus and to-dos and with their plus version you can even do a lot more. Personally, I just love to take my Instagram photos with whatever wallpaper pops up so I don't need to purchase the plus version. And that's about it. These are the Chrome extensions that I think make life as a college or high school student a lot easier and more fun 
and I hope you discovered some new ones to try out today. Comment down below what your favorite Chrome extensions are, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more study tips and college life videos every Saturday. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.